What's up everybody? How's everybody doing? Uh, today we're going to talk about Revenge Ruins. So first, it's an offset. It's a, it, it's a two set. So pretty much all you need to do is put two Revenge Ruins on. It is f the 15% chance to revenge an enemy, to counterattack basically. They are stackable if you may put a six revenge set on. Uh, if you put all six runes as a revenge, it'll go up to 45%. So, we're going to talk about the passives first. What monsters passive works? Now, I, I can't show every single monster because then we'll end up for like an hour long video. But I'm going to show you guys how to distinguish how the passive, how, what to see when the passive works. Okay. So, you've got boiling blood over here. Your critical hits increase it. The attack bars of all allies by 20%. So why does Vert's passive work? Verta Hill's passive work? Because it doesn't say turn in the passive. Okay. Perna's passive doesn't work. Why? Because it's every turn that she heals for for uh, 10%. Not only that, but the second part of the passive has a cooldown. So a revenge rune isn't considered a turn, so it won't take away from the cooldown if the passive already proc. Like a violent rune gives you an additional turn. A, a revenge rune doesn't. It's not considered a turn at all. The occult girls now, you see this? It works. But if she puts an enemy to sleep, she's not going to get an extra turn because pretty much... She never got a turn to begin with. It's just a revenge, so it's not going to it's not going to proc an extra turn. Um, we're gonna show one more monster because a lot of people tend to think that the the passive works with him and it doesn't at all. Aman, if you see in his passive, it says you get if you get a critical hit when you attack on your turn, so it doesn't work. At all, he will, the passive won't work, but he'll attack. It just he won't heal. So now we're gonna talk about what kinds of monsters we we're gonna put the passive on. All right, not the passive, the revenge runes on. The kinds of monsters that you want to put them on is a monster that has some sort of a harmful effect in their first skill. Now monsters like Darian. He weakens defense with his first skill. Belladion. Arya. She uh, she puts them to sleep. She'll still recover her attack gauge by 50% if she puts a monster to sleep. Because it's not going to give her a turn. Him. He stuns on his first turn. Her. Her passive actually works, Hua. Because it doesn't go with the turn, it says decreases the... It doesn't say anything about a turn. So she can even proc a second uh, attack as well. And then to top it off, she can slow him down. So she's going to have three effects on a revenge. I actually want to build a revenge one. I have one. I want to build her violent revenge. I, I don't know when I'm going to six star her. She's one of my future projects. Uh, hmm. So... I explained to you guys how to distinguish it, how to do it, and all that. Now, what do you have to give up when you're putting revenge runes on? That's the question, okay? Usually, I'm gonna say, and I, this is just off the top of my head, 60 to 80% of the time when you're putting revenge runes on, you're losing focus runes. Why? Because as I said, you're usually putting on, uh, you're usually putting it on a mo monster that th that has a harmful effect. So you're losing 20% accuracy in your runes. So what are you looking for in revenge runes? Basically, you're looking for accuracy. But here's the other thing, all right? And we're gonna we're gonna go more in depth with it when I talk about focus runes. Uh, when we're not talking about focus runes in this video, I'm going to make a video specifically for, for focus runes. Focus runes now. Uh, revenge runes now. 
Well, well I'm sorry. Focus runes. <laughs> With the focus runes, what I look for in in uh, in focus runes, I people say accuracy. This is everybody's this is everybody's opinion now. All right. I, the first thing I look for is speed. Usually, when I have a monster that puts a weakening effect, I want them to have speed on them. Okay. Now. You're also looking for accuracy, so you gotta look for both speed and accuracy. I don't suggest farming revenge runes on the scenario boards at all. Revenge runes are more of an end game build. And if you put white ones on, the white ones aren't going to give you the right substats. You don't know what kind of substats you're gonna get while you're powering them up. And it just it's it's not right. Now, I have a monster, okay, Belladion where I can put revenge runes on them if I ever get the correct ones. Now, let me explain to you why. Beladion has 72% accuracy, okay? And plus 52 speed. I don't want to lose these stats. Now, the thing is though, most of my accuracy substats and my speed substats, all right, now I have speed in slot two, but I have a 16% accuracy substat. I have speed plus 8 over here and another 16% accuracy substat. And then I have another 16% accuracy substat here. So I'm getting 48% accuracy just from those three runes. Now, this rune, the substat on it is attack that's high. And it, do, it only has 4% accuracy. And then this rune only has speed plus 5. So... These runes are mainly on Belladion for the hit points. And I can probably find, it, well, hopefully, I don't have them now, but I can probably find two, uh, uh, two revenge runes sooner or later with hit points and with accuracy substats and hopefully speed substats. I'd probably, if I don't find the speed substat, I may give up the five speed, but it's only five speed. Okay? So... I wouldn't, I wouldn't put revenge runes on immediately. A monster that you can put revenge runes on immediately, and why? Because he doesn't, not that he doesn't need a lot of accuracy, it's just that he gets 25% accuracy when he's awakened, and he has a 100% chance, if his skill is maxed out, to put weakened defense, for the weakened defense to proc. So I would say still try and put some accuracy on him, but you don't have to, and he's really there to tank, and Revenge Runes actually work very well with him. But other monsters like Hua, she needs accuracy. Uh, Arya, I suggest you put accuracy on her. You find accuracy substats. Um, putting dots and stuff like that, I'm not too thrilled about it. I'd rather have this build. So really, it's with the stuns, the stuns, the sleep, the... And you also have to look for the chances of the sleep, okay? These guys over here, pioneers, you see it's a 15% chance when you max out their skills. And I'll show you as well. I'm sure I didn't ask her if I could go through her monsters, but it is what it is. I'm sure she's not going to mind. Okay. But as you can see, when you max out his skill, harmful effect rate plus 5%, it's a 20% chance now. I wouldn't I wouldn't put revenge runes for a 20% chance. It's not it's not for it to proc. I wouldn't even bother putting it doesn't 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 make sense to me. I would put accuracy, I would put accuracy substats because the rest of his skills need accuracy, but it, I wouldn't put revenge on him. So you gotta distinguish what monsters you wanna put revenge on, which, as we said, a harmful effect. You gotta make sure you get the right substats. All right, I would say speed. Speed is uh, speed and accuracy. Now, other monsters like like Darian, I don't look. I didn't look for accuracy. I looked for hit points, 
crit rate, obviously. He ended up getting the accuracy anyway, so it was a plus. This one hit points, he got crit damage and he got accuracy. But there's no speed. So I could replace these runes. You know, like this one has speed, but it doesn't have hit point. I, I want the hit point. And it has a nice 12% hit point substat, you know? I'd have to power this rune up to find to figure out exactly what it's gonna get. Like this rune is actually very good. I'm gonna lose 7% uh seven percent accuracy. But it's actually uh, seven percent hit points, I mean. But it's actually a very good rune, and yeah, that's about it. You know, so I really wouldn't go. Even these blue runes aren't all that great. I kept them just in case they end up getting really, really high accuracy, and you never know what you're gonna end up with. But I really think purple is the way to go with revenge runes. This one actually turned out to my benefit because it's got the 12-speed subset. I might end up switching this rune out. I don't know yet. But, yeah. I would go with purple. And this is more for an endgame use. In the beginning, I'm telling you guys, unless it's Darien, uh, Darien is the only monster I suggested on. I don't really suggest using revenge runes on certain monsters. You know, and then Arya telling you you need accuracy you got to be able to have accuracy maybe you could give up the speed but you got to have accuracy guys you can't give up accuracy i'm telling you right now you're just going to end up in a little bit of a mess so uh hopefully you guys enjoyed the video i made it nice and short for everyone uh have a good one everybody thank you